Hello friends! Welcome to A Play on Color. My name is Dawn. Today's awesome color is orange. I love the color orange. I always feel inspired and uplifted around that color. And it's just such a bright, happy color. I love spending time in my yard next to my orange tree out in the sun. Hey Erin, don't you have a tangelo tree in your yard? Hey Dawn, I sure do. Look at this amazing tree and these amazing tangelos. A tangelo tree is a cross between an orange and a tangerine. So they can have the color of an orange and also the color of a tangerine. They can also be very juicy and yummy. They're also the color of our sacral chakra, which is located right below our belly button, about three fingers below. And that chakra is all about our creativity, joy, and connection. So let's invite a little bit more of that fun, joy, creativity, connection energy, and eat a little bit of this amazing tangelo. Hey Dawn, do you wanna try some of this amazing tangelo that I just peeled? I sure would. Mm, here you go, girl. I love fresh fruit, and that is so good and juicy. Well, let's learn more about the color orange. Are you ready? Let's go. Let's do it. More about orange. Mmm. Don't you love orange and all the amazing orange things in life? I love orange colors. I love all orange fruits, actually. I love mangoes and papayas and oranges and apricots. And in the rainbow scale of music, the color orange is the note D. And D is a note that is nourishing to us, just like food is nourishing to us. And the chakra, the energy center, are like wheels of energy that turn at different places in our body. And we can't see them with our physical eyes, but we can see them with our spiritual eyes. And we can feel them. So the sacral chakra is the chakra that is the note of D. And that is right deep in our belly. Place your hands on your belly and listen to this sound of my crystal bowl that is in the note of D. This is a crystal bowl made of crystal quartz from the earth and this one makes the sound of D, the orange color. Feel this sound. Doesn't that feel like a nourishing sound? It's like a sound that makes you feel like you had a really yummy meal. So now I'm going to put the crystal ball down. I'm going to play the note of D on my heart. And even though it's a different instrument, you will hear with your ears and you will feel in your body that the note still sounds and feels the same, even though it's on a different instrument. See how that feels to you. Hi 
friends! I'm so excited to talk about the color orange because it's my very favorite color of all. Next to me is a box full of citrus. Citrus is the kind of fruit that an orange is. Here we have lemons, grapefruits, and you guessed it, oranges. I got all those delicious citrus fruits from my mom's garden. So the painting projects this week, because orange is my favorite color, I decided to do two. The first one, and the second one, you guessed it, an orange. I'd like to know if you can guess what the orange and the butterfly have in common. They do have a relationship. Can you guess what it is? You know, we wouldn't have oranges if it weren't for butterflies and other pollinators like bees. Relationships are important. Let's go see if we can find some butterflies in my garden right now. Hey Bianca, did you know today's color was orange? Yeah, and I have the perfect play. James and the Giant Peach. What does a peach have to do with orange? Well, peach is the color orange. Oh. Well, why is it so perfect? Well, since Orange is a creative chalk, I was thinking we can oh. act together a scene from it. Well, I was thinking that I could sing a song from the Orange Chanel album that has to do with relationships, since that's a part of the Orange Chakra too. Well, let's act and sing together. How do we do that? I got it. Why don't we sing a scene from the play? Best idea ever. I just want to say thank you for being with me in my time. You're welcome, my friend. Sounds like family to me. Oh, what a peculiar family we are. I wouldn't have it any other way. And we will always have each other's backs. No matter what. Hey there! Millie here! I'm a moth. Moths are a part of the nocturnal ecosystem. Nocturnal means awake at night. Ecosystem means a group or community coming together with different interconnected parts like a sports team, business, or a forest. So this means that we moths are awake at night and we help pollinate like the bees. We dispense pollen over large distances under the cover of darkness and the moonlight instead of the sun like the bees and the butterflies. Because of this, moths can be a big helper to the bees in pollination. Bees stay close to their hive because it's their home. So they only pollinate in their local environments. Us moths are like bee helpers. 
Yeah. Because we can carry pollen all over great distances. As boss don't live in a hive or a home, they move around. Moths help agriculture and farming to prevent inbreeding among some plants. So basically, moths are nocturnal ecosystem pollinators and bee supporting awesomeness. Yeah. So, hope you guys liked hearing about moths today. And I really hope to see you again soon. Millie, out. Aren't you glad I'm blue? <laughs> That's dopey. That's dopey? Oh no. <laughs> hey friends, today we're going to convert all of these amazing ingredients into a yummy tropical popsicle whose star will be orange. These are oranges from my orange tree in the backyard. And just like always, I'm just gonna snap my fingers and you know what happens. And just like that, my magic works. It's a popsicle. Mm. So this is the coconut cream, pineapple, and fresh orange juice. No sugar added. And it's fabulous. Orange is my favorite color. Did you know that when you look through orange lenses, you feel happy? We think the sun is orange, but actually the sun is a combination of all of the colors of the rainbow, and it makes up a bright light. The sun is the star at the center of our solar system, and it is the closest star to Earth only 93 million miles away. <sighs> What's going on? What's going on? I am um, beautiful canvas, but I just don't know what to do. I feel so unmotivated and stuck. I kind of feel like really empty right now. <sighs> I just don't feel like creating anything. In fact, I really don't feel like doing anything much at all. Oh, wow. It sounds like your sacral chakra hmm. is depleted. My what? Your sacral chakra is located in your lower abdomen, like near your tummy. It's your passion center. It's where our creativity lives, and it is connected to our emotional body. When I'm feeling depleted, I have a hard time painting and writing stories, and sometimes even seeing color. The world can seem to be black and white, and I don't feel inspired to do anything. Do you feel like that? Wow, I feel like you really understand how I feel like right now. 
I have felt this way also. Can we give you some tips on how to work through those dark moments? The first thing I do is move my body. Maybe I go for a walk or do some yoga or stretch myself out. But my favorite thing to do is dance. I give myself compassion and I remember it's only a phase. Maybe today you feel like you can't even start a project, but that won't be forever. Tomorrow you might be inspired to sew, paint, or cook. Like a butterfly? They inspire me. Yes. Yes, they change from a caterpillar into a beautiful butterfly. Yes, they do. But remember, they go through more than one stage. It's not an immediate transformation from caterpillar to butterfly. In between, they go through a pupa or chrysalis stage. This may not look like the most exciting phase, but without that, they would never get their wings. So they are dormant waiting. Hmm, maybe I'm in that phase right now. Your creative abilities are not gone, they are transforming. Wow, I feel my creativity coming back. I think the dancing helped. I can't wait to get started on my project. I'm excited again. Can I help out? Can I help out? Yes, I would love that. Thanks for all your help. I feel so inspired. Thanks for all your support. Look at this beautiful picture I painted. Thanks for all your help, guys. Hey guys. Hey, Tobby, say hello to everybody. There she is. We wanted to show you our day lilies are blooming today. And check this out, guys, because this is orange week. But day lilies, these day lilies have red and yellow. And orange is not what they call a primary color. It's a blend of red and yellow. And so we have these flowers here. And look how the red and the yellow has made orange in the center. Is that beautiful or what? How do you organize a space party? You plan it! Have you ever eaten a sweet raw orange? Or better yet, a pumpkin pie? What about tender carrots? Or a sweet potato at Thanksgiving time? And did your parents let you stay up late just to see a huge orange moon rise? And what about bright orange colors as a favorite color on soccer shirts you find? And those names like Florence or Georgine? And Halloween will come soon enough with carved pumpkins all over the place. So dance with orange and rainbows to see and those orange roses and gardens with no weeds. We love you, orange. Yes, you now see. fabric store. Well, you can't really go to the fabric store because everybody's quarantined. What do you do? This, this. Well, I do need black and I need yellow. These are kind of like those times when you're stuck and you don't know what to do. There's no real easy route. So you gotta, just gotta figure it out. Hmm. Well, to me, fashion is like a puzzle piece. You just take what you have. Pop and thread. Sewing machine's ready. Scissors ready. Let's get to work.
go. Ta-da. So what I did was just made one big piece so that I could put patterns on this and cut it so that it'll fit. Now what you could do though is you have this cool seam here so it'll actually do something different, which is called color blocking, which I can talk more into in the rainbow room where I can also teach you how to thread a machine and more and sew it. And you can also do cool things like this. Or if you want just a simple straight color but you just need more fabric, you could take your scraps and do something like this. So it's just solid. And you could do all awesome types of things. Something I like to do, because then it gives everything some kind of character. So I can show you more of this in the Rainbow Room. So be sure to check in and Youth Inspired. Thanks for watching a play on color. See you next Hey guys, Millie here. Thanks for watching a play on color today and learning all about the amazing color orange. And we had so much fun with Tangelos, making popsicles, and painting with Selena. So if you guys want to see more, then check out the Rainbow Library on our website at youthinspired.org. Yeah, can't wait to see you next time for the color purple, my favorite. Bye guys, have a great night. I'm off to pollinate. Love. Love. Love for the youth. Unity for parents. Unity for the world. Youth inspired. Bye. We want to thank you for watching A Play on Color. Thank you for all the donations and support. Donations to our 501c3 nonprofit supports our show, collaborative projects, and the youth and parents of the globe. So come on over to youthinspired.org. Sign up and gain access to our free rainbow library, a colorful place where you dive deeper in all the classes featured on this episode. Learn how you can collaborate, give donations, and be a part of a global youth project. Take any of our classes and workshops from artists, teachers, and innovators from all over the world. We hope to see you there. Oh, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Youth Inspired. Youth Globally. Your voice counts.